The Seven Elements of Culture. What is culture? Culture is the way of life for an entire society. Culture includes such things as what we eat, the way we dress, the music we listen to, and how we greet each other. The first element is social organization. Cultures organize members into smaller units so people can work together to meet basic needs. The two ways many cultures organize are by family and class. Family can be one of two different things. The nuclear family, which is wife, husband, and children, or a mother and her son, so the, really the immediate family, or extended family, where many generations are in one home, children, parents, grandparents. Classes rank people in order of status depending on what's important to the culture. It could be money, job, education, or ancestry. The second element is customs and traditions. These are the rules of behavior. Hands handshakes, hugs, making eye contact, eating with a fork, holding the door for someone, or wearing your good clothes when you go out. Cultural law sometimes enforces the rules of behavior. Our family and friends let us know if we're doing the right thing or not. The third element is language, and language is simply how people communicate. It's the cornerstone of culture. All cultures have a spoken language, even if the written language isn't developed. Each language can have several different dialects. Arts and literature. This is the first way people in current times know about cultures from the past. These are the products of the human imagination and help us pass on the culture's basic beliefs. Art, music, literature, and folk tales. Arts and literature are things that entertain, please, and teach us about a culture. It can include movies, books, plays, games, sports, TV shows, paintings. The fifth element is government. Governments provide common needs for citizens, keep order within society, and protect their society from outside threats. The definition of a government is a person or people who hold power in society and society's laws and political institutions. Forms of government are different depending on the country or the history. A democracy or people have supreme power, government acts by and with consent. A republic, people choose leaders to represent them. The United States is an example. And then you have a dictatorship, a ruler who holds power by force, usually relying on the military for support. Religion is the sixth element of a culture, and religion helps people answer questions about the meaning and purpose of life, and it supports the values that cultures feel are important. Monotheism, worshiping of one god. Polytheism is the worshiping of many gods. The last element is economic systems and that's how people use limited resources to satisfy their wants and needs what goods should be produced how should they be produced and who should get the things that are made there are traditional economies where people produce most of what they need the market economy where people buy and sell goods and services a command economy where the government controls what and how goods are produced and what they cost and then a mixed economy. Individuals make some economic decisions and the government makes others. So as you are working on your elements of culture for the mythology unit, keep these things in mind and how do these things represent your ancient culture? Remember, you're not looking at what we've done now or what the society is like now, but what was it like back in ancient times?